everyone. My name is Alejandro. This is another ISDC video. Today we will dive the Donald McAllister out of Hollywood. For this particular video, we're going to be presenting you with the three usual sections we are doing, uh, which are the dive briefing, the dive itself, and the history of the wreck. So let's get to it. Hi everyone, welcome back. The Noah McAllister was a tug which had 101 foot long by 26 foot wide. This is approximately 30 by 8 meters. Right now it's residing at 70 feet, which is 21 meters, and it has a relief of 25 feet, which is, you take, 8 meters. So this is a really nice dive for the advanced open water. It can be done with a Nitrox 32 mix and it's really, really enjoyable. It's a long dive with great bottom time. The Donald McAllister is part of an artificial reef system in Hollywood, which, in which several wrecks are part of, including the Miss Dania Beach, the Ebenezer, the Emmy Boggs, the Captain Didi, among others. The Donald McAllister itself is sitting upright and intact, and uh, you can visit the engine room, you can go to the wheelhouse, and particularly what I like the most is the galley, where there's still some uh, furniture there that you can go visit and see, the doors are there, everything. So without further ado, let's go for a dive.
Welcome back. Let's talk about the history of the wreck. The Donald McAllister was originally named Coral Sea and was launched in 1946. It was manufactured by Gulfport Shipping out of Port Arthur in Texas. The first owner was Petro and City Services Incorporated, which is, as some of you may know, what later on became Citgo. That same year, in 1946, it was sold to Interstate Oil of New York. Later on, in 1951, it was renamed to Russell 17 when it was sold to Russell Towing, also from New York. Its history uh, revolved about around working the New York area and uh, by 1960, it became the Dalzell Atlas when it was bo uh, bought by the Dalzell Towing Company. By 1965, that company was uh, bought by McAllister Towing Company and then it was renamed as Donald G. McAllister, its last name. Three years later, in 1968, it uh, ran out of the commutation, so the ship was basically laid off. And uh, there's a gray area on its history right there, right? Uh, we know it was finally sunk as an artificial reef in June 23, 1998. And that's how we arrived to the end of another video. I truly hope you enjoyed this one. If so, give us a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe and leave your comments. Thank you very much for being there and see you on the next one.